Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today we are talking about the Warglaive, the most powerful conventional melee weapon. It's a two-handed melee weapon. Now I found something really interesting as well about the weapon. So let's start from four possible modifications that we can have for Warglaive. So you can see the plasma blade at this moment. So that's the plasma blade and you can notice the damage is relatively low currently, but I intentionally waited until my melee damage buff from food expires. Otherwise, it's too high damage for me to show what I want to show with this weapon. So I intentionally dropped my damage. Now, that's the plasma work life. We have as well freezing work life with cryo effect, 60% slow on the target for 5 seconds, which is really good. I need to say, this effect is quite good. It usually takes multiple hits, though, to trigger on enemies, especially at tankier ones, but can be useful. Then we have Flaming work life. That's the only modification that provides extra dot, extra fire damage over time, as well as because it's a fire, you can use it for healing friendly NPCs, which is very handy sometimes. Of course, you do need a perk friendly fire under Charisma, to heal. And lastly, there is Electrified work life. And now, what interesting I found, you probably are thinking, which one should you use? And this answer is a little bit tricky, as I can show a clear damage difference, but in order to do so, I need to unequip Incisor. And here I will share this finding with you. And then I will show you what happens after I put Incisor back. So this Super Mutant, that's the amount of damage with Plasma Blade. It's about under R of the name. You need to look at the name. The damage numbers are not enough. Then if I use Electrified, it's a tiny bit less, which is surprising for me as last time I was testing. So Electrified was doing the highest. Uh, here it's slightly bit less. Now, if I switch to flaming, gain flaming, and you can see much less damage with a flaming one. Now, the cryo blade, freezing war glaive, and again, about the same damage as the flaming. That's because those super mutants have the same resistance to any elemental damage. And both almost the same, so from the work life plasma and electrified, almost the same. But now, let me equip back the incisor perk. So I'm equipping back the incisor perk. And now, starting with plasma that was doing the highest, almost killing a super mutant under S. The health remaining is under S on the super mutant name. And those are all, of course, non legendary. I do have legendary work life to show as well, but we are starting from a basic non-legendary. So that was plasma. Then we switched to electrified. So that was previously second. Electrified was second damage wise. Now it's the same as plasma. There is no difference. It's exactly the same damage. Now, if we switch to the flaming work life that previously was doing Lower damage, much lower damage, but now we have incisor equip and it's the same damage plus the dot. So thanks to the dot, it's doing slightly more damage. Of course, the waiting part is not really useful unless we are doing expedition where dot works and actually does something. On most enemies, it doesn't. But if we consider that, now flaming is doing even more damage. And finally, the last one freezing and if i use the freezing one the same damage again so all of them are doing the same amount of damage after equipping incisor what i think happened is that currently incisor works exactly like it's supposed to be affecting as well as regular ballistic and energy damage all the elemental resistances Therefore, after applying incisor, regardless of which mod 
is on the work life that work life is doing the full damage so if it's doing the full damage and nothing is being stopped by resistance as incisor seems to be enough to fully overcome all the resistances they about equal in damage so the difference that you can see without incisor equip disappears after equipping incisor which is good to know as then you are deciding which mod you know based on effect like do you want freezing do you want healing do you uh, want like in case of plasma there is effect it gives plasma crit effects which in practice means that sometimes enemy change into this green goo and green goo will drop extra radioactive material that you can pick up so if you want to farm for extra scrap like that it is actually useful so plasma work life is not bad and electrified unfortunately in this case scenario i cannot recommend there is nothing really good about it anymore apart from looking different there is no special effect to it nothing it's just the same damage as other modes different look no special bonus so i would choose between freezing flaming or plasma blade and now how well the legendary will perform i do have instigating weapon speed one endurance work life currently modified with a plasma blade and without using at this moment without using any food uh, let me show you how well it works oh there is a super mutant up there especially if you use invads about the stealth if i use invads and i even do this little dash forward it still counts as stationary for the chameleon effect so chameleon as i'm currently running chameleon of the mix four pieces of chameleon and one unyielding so chameleon works if i stand stationary then the dash invades do not interfere with chameleon which is really handy for playing stealth melee and warglaive is the best weapon for stealth melee like look at this power the damage is absolutely insane if the explosion triggers on top of that that's crazy amount of damage and that's still without the food now i will add the food as i do have a melee boost food so tasty yaogwai roast now you can see my damage jumps up to about to over 600 over 600 i should probably add back the perk that i took which is adrenaline i run rank one as i don't have too many cards and now you will need to see the damage numbers as it will die but it's like 1200 1200 damage even more if that triggers explosion so the damage is absolutely insane with the work life and now let me find some more tanky enemy to demonstrate you the damage potential of this weapon and i tested on bosses too it is doing quite significant amount of damage so for the more tanky boss we are heading for salmon's pond as there is a super mutant behemoth so we're running down the road and i will show you the damage on super mutant behemoth what do you think how much does it take to kill it with instigating work life of course the instigating effect only works for the first swing and then it doesn't anymore but even this one swing helps a lot and i have follow through legendary effect that hopefully will be able to trigger on time okay Super Mutant Behemoth, are you ready? I have critical as well for opening. Two. Three easy hits. Not detected. He didn't. He didn't do anything. He did, he did not. Because <laughs> I was fully invisible with this chameleon. This chameleon I really like. The four chameleon pieces. One unyielding. Awesome combo for the stealth valley. I have so much fun and especially now when i'm playing with the work life i think it's very interesting that all modifications for a work life with incisor equipped are now basically doing the same amount of damage that changes a lot when you are choosing as you are choosing based on additional effects not on initial damage this is the same and that being said this is everything about the work life the most power powerful conventional two-handed melee weapon that's silent so you can use it with stealth and as well the sound effects 
a little bit different with different modes. I like the plasma for the sound effects when you are hitting a target. When you are not hitting anything, it's worse, but if you are hitting a target, it's a little bit more plasma effect. Oh, I didn't know you can do that. I I changed a corpse into a goo pile after the fact. Okay, I was, I was not expecting that to happen. So it is possible to change them after the fact? Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the second new thing. And that being said, this is everything for this video. I hope you enjoy it and I hope to see you in the next one.